Hey everyone, welcome to session two of the Game of Drones Piloting Lab. Now in this session, which we call Drones or Robots, we're gonna learn how drones are robots, right? Because that's a fundamental part of what allows a drone to fly, is that it's a robot. Now before we get into the meat of this session, we're gonna do a quick review of last session. So what I'll do is I ask the question and you in class can shout out the answer. If there are multiple answers, that's fine and then I'll reveal what the answer is from last week. Okay, now, first question. What do you call the thing that allows animals, insects, and machines to fly? If you said wings, you are right. Second question, what do wings create? What's the, the word, I'm looking for a specific word uh, that wings create, it's actually a force. So what, what do wings create? Well, if you said lift, then you were right. Remember, on a wing, we have four forces that are acting on it at the same time. We have thrust, we have drag, we have weight, and then acting opposite of weight is lift, which is actually the force that allows us to fly. We also talked about the different types of wings, right? We had fixed wing and we had rotary wing. Okay, next question. Now, who can name two types of machines that use wings to fly? Well, if you said helicopters and airplanes, then you're right. Now, each one uses a different mechanism to create lift. For instance, the airplane has to go down a runway to actually take off, right? And get enough air over the wings before it can fly. And then the helicopter, instead of going down a runway, it actually just spins in a circular fashion, which creates the fast moving air over the wing, which creates enough lift to pick up the helicopter and let it fly. And the final review question, what happens when a propeller spins faster and faster? Well, if you said that it goes higher, then you're right. Remember when we did the propeller stations, the propellers that were able to spin faster were the ones that actually went higher. That's a key point and it's something that we'll use in today's session. 